Hey guys, first problems five sevenths plus two ninths. First thing we do is we notice that the bottom two numbers are different. So we're going to go ahead and multiply the bottom two numbers. Seven times nine gives you 63. Then you multiply the diagonal. Nine times five is 45. Multiply the other diagonal, 7 times 2 gives you 14. Now you just add the two numbers that you got in the diagonal. 45 plus 14. 5 plus 4 is 9. 4 plus 1 is 5. So your answer is 59 60 thirds. Next up, we have 2 and 1 third plus 3 and 1 fourth. So let's go ahead and change that mixed number into an improper fraction by doing 3 times 2 is 6, and adding 1 gives you 7. And it's still in thirds, so you have 7 thirds. And 4 times 3 is 12. Add one more, gives you 13. And you're in fourths, so it's still 13 fourths. And now you just do the same method. Multiply the bottom two numbers. 3 times 4 is 12. Multiply the diagonal. 7 times 4 is 28 and multiply 3 times 13 do that up here 3 times 13 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 1 is 3 so you get 39 and now you need to add the two numbers nine and eight is seventeen and one and three is four five six sixty seven so your answer is sixty seven twelfths and if you want to change that back into a mixed number figure out how many times twelve goes into sixty seven and twelve goes into sixty seven five times and when you do 5 times 12 you get 60 so you'll have a remainder of 7 so there's your 5 and you have 7 remainder so you have 5 and 7 twelfths Last problems, 1 and 7 eighths plus 3 and 2 thirds. We'll change that, change those into improper fractions. 8 times 1 is 8. Add 7 more, gives you 15. So 15 eighths. And do 3 times 3 is 9. Add 2 more, that gives you 11. So plus 11 thirds. Now you just do the same thing. 8 times 3, multiply the bottom. Gives you 24. Multiply the diagonal. 3 times 15. 15 times 3, 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. So you get 45 for that. And 8 times 11 is 88. Now we need to add the top two numbers. 88 plus 45. 
8 and 5 is 13. And you get 13 there. So you end up with 133 over 24. If you want to change that into a mixed number, I'm going to do a guess and check method. See how many times 24 goes into 133. See, so go ahead and we'll say five, and we'll do five times 24 just to see how many are going to be left over. Five times 24 is 120, so that leaves a remainder of 13 left over. So you get five and 13 24ths. And that's it. See ya.